Lena, you, uh, you are a sex worker. Yes. You work in the adult industry. I do. Um, so how do you feel about becoming a mom in, in the field that you work in? Do you have trepidation about it? Do you have anything you're going to change about how you work? Are you worried about how you're going to talk to your kid about it one day? I think in the beginning, it'll be a lot easier, you know, like when you're before your kids two, they don't tend Mm -hmm. to remember a lot of things, but that being said, it's not like I'm going to shoot at home. So I think that'll be like a big change from the beginning is that, you know, I'll have to hire someone for help and I'll, I'll have to figure out my shoot dates. Like right now I'm really loose or before pregnancy, I was really loose with shooting. If, if a girl wanted to cancel and shoot the next day, it was like a really easy thing for me. But I think when I become a mom in order to keep my affairs in order and my mom life and my work life really separate, I'll have to just be more like on top of my schedule and stuff like that. Um, and I wonder if by the time my kid is like old enough to talk and ask questions, if I'll still be doing this. Cause I mean, from the beginning, I just never thought it would last even two months or three months. I thought this is a weird hack. I got really lucky, made all this money for almost no reason. And then you know, four years later, I'm still doing it. And I still can't believe it sometimes. So who knows what will happen in a couple of years. Uh, But all that being said, I just plan to raise my kid to be really, really open minded and hope that, you know, this doesn't bother them. Because I mean, I was raised like a raised around people who are a lot more closed minded than I am. And I still manage to be an open minded person who you know, has the opinions that I do. So we'll see. It could backfire. Who knows? But I mean, you are the kid of a family in the porn industry, right? So mm-hmm. how was it for you? Oh boy, we're going to talk about me. No, yes, kidding. please Yay! tell me. I actually don't know any of my answers yet. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> um, You know, I, so my, my, yeah, my mom, my, both my parents uh, worked together, directed, uh, porn movies. And my mom's mostly known for her photography. Um, she, she, back when you could make money just being a photographer and shooting for the magazines, that's mostly what she did, Mm -hmm. but they did also make some movies, um, in like the early eighties, which are so hilarious to watch now because they're so (laughs) so terrible. Um, my dad like wrote the scripts. There's like so bad. It's so weird. (laughs) That is so cool that you get to see that. So funny. But, you know, I think I wasn't raised with a sense of shame about sex. Mm -hmm. So, like, for me, that wasn't really part of how I saw the world. I think a lot of the stigma that we come up across is from people who were raised to believe that, like, sex is sinful, sex is dirty, sex can only be one specific way, and every other way is bad. And so I think that if you're not raised with that idea about sex, then it won't be weird or dirty or gross to you because, you know, we are like, we are who our parents raise us to be. Right. Mm -hmm. And obviously we can become adults and we can change how we see the world and, and whatever. But, um, that, that initial hard wiring that we get as a child, I think really stays with us in, in a lot of ways. So I think that, you know, if you just, if you raise your child with, you know, a happy childhood, you love them, you teach them, you know, good morals, like how to treat other people and how to be respectful and, you know, just to be a good person. Um, and you don't kind of create this whole like drama and mystery and fear around sex. Like your kids aren't going to feel that way because, you know, one question I get a lot is people are like, when did you find out what your parents did for a living? Expecting that I had like this moment of epiphany where it was all revealed and I was so ashamed and, and I don't remember that ever happening. Cause I don't think my parents ever really like tried really hard to hide it. I mean, they uh-huh. obviously didn't necessarily expose it to me. It wasn't like, you know, I came to shoots when they were shooting or they were like, Hey, look at this movie mom and dad made. Yeah. Uh, Um, I just remember as a kid, you know, growing up, understanding that what mom and dad did was they made movies and pictures for grownups Mm -hmm. and I wasn't a grownup. So it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, it was almost like the same thing as like watching like a rated R movie. You know what I mean? Like it was, you know, like these are, these are for grownups. You're too young to Mm -hmm. understand. And, you know, generally when you're a kid, you don't give a fuck what your parents do. (laughs) 
for a do you living. have memories of like friends not being allowed to come over or like be your friend because their parents didn't like what your parents did? Because that's kind of the kind of thing that I'm more worried about is like other people, not yeah. necessarily my kid. So I don't remember specifically like friends not being allowed to come over and stuff like that. But I do remember having to kind of lie about what my parents did for a living Mm -hmm. and reference something else. So I do remember school. There was specifically one school project where I had to write about what my mom did for a living. It was like parents week or something like that. And like my, my dad had to sit down with me and like help me write out this kind of like, sort of lie she's a photographer but she's a photographer but not exactly yeah don't talk about specifically what she does so so that's where the problem arose was was me not being able to really explain to other people what they did for a living and trying to have to hide that from other people Mm -hmm. and then um but in terms of like how I felt about it yeah, it just didn't, it wasn't really that important to me. Now, of course, once I hit puberty and I became interested in sex, then, you know, I started to steal the magazines out of the the <laughs> office. Um, but, you know, like, I, I feel like I had a really healthy, wonderful child. My parents loved me and they, yeah. you know, took us to the beach every weekend and read me a bedtime story every night and um, spent a lot of time with me and encouraged me and believed in me. And I think that as a parent, like that's all you can really do. That's like your whole job. Yeah. Yeah. Like all this other shit, it's like not really as important. Yeah. And I think also too, by the time, you know, we're becoming more progressive as time goes along. Mm -hmm. So I think that by the time, you know, your child is old enough to kind of understand what you do for a living, I feel like society will hopefully, there'll be like less stigma around it. Yeah. So that's what I'm hoping is to difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the number one sort of comment I see from people is your kid's going to get bullied in school. Mm-hmm. And I mean, everyone gets bullied in school, but also like why raise your kid to be a bully and like, why accept that of your kid? You know, it's like, you're making a huge assumption there that it's, that that's also okay. And that people shouldn't be taught not to do that either you know it's like I've seen people say like I'm gonna let my kid bully your kid and it's it's like why you're, yeah. you you clearly follow me you're clearly interested in what I do uh so you know but you can't change everyone you can only do your job and your job is to raise your kid to the best of your ability and give them all the things that you wanted when you were growing up and you know what happens happens yeah and to be fair like it- it's a lot different now than it was when I was growing up. Cause when I was growing up, there was no internet. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, it's going to, you're going to have more, of, I guess uh, me too. We're going to have more of a challenge because like the internet will allow our children to look up anything. Yeah. I, I think that's something that is going to be interesting because you don't want your kid to find out from a friend at school. You know, you kind of want to be the first one to tell them, but what are you going to tell them when they're seven? Yeah. You know? Right. I know. It's like, what's the appropriate age to bring it up? But it's like kids are (laughs) exposed to, are often exposed to porn at such a young age, Mm -hmm. but maybe, maybe by then they will be, I don't know, like they will be better safeguards in place. Um, there won't be such a proliferation of free porn that's so easily accessible. Yeah. Maybe we would have figured out how to manage it better. You know, is I mean, technology is changing so drastically all the time and, and society is too. I just kind of, I, I try not to trip out too much on like something that's so far in the future that yeah. I can't change right now anyways. Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't, I'm not really thinking about it too much right now either. It's like everyone who follows me is thinking about it a lot more than I am. And I'm like, I'll get there when I get there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.